Madagascar's president, Mark Ravalamanana, has stepped down. Aides to the president say he has handed over his resignation to the Navy Admiral, Madagascar's highest ranking officer. But the Army Chief of Staff said the military favored the opposition leader, Andre Rajolina. This is while the African Union has resisted any unconstitutional transfer of power. It said the military should not hand over to the opposition. The resignation came after months of struggle between the president and the opposition, which has now occupied the president's offices. A private local radio reported that the American embassy has decided to take charge of the safety of the president from now on. We're now joined by Ayo Johnson, an expert on African affairs. He's on the phone with us from London. Now, reports say President Ravalamanana has resigned and handed over power to the military. Can this be regarded as a military coup or not? Well, it's a, it's a classic sense of the coup. Um, there's no doubt about that. Clearly, the military, um, supported by um, Andre Rajolina, have um, gone literally and taken over the, the country. Um, it's unheard of. Um, uh, the Madagascan president is in hiding, or he's actually walked away from the job. Um, but that's due to extreme pressure from the military, who've been quite disgruntled of late and uh, not very happy, especially with the large numbers of inequalities that exist in that country, and uh, more so large numbers of the population living below the poverty line. So it's a combination of a um, lot of dissatisfaction within the military and within the people themselves. Um, hence the reason why we've seen large numbers of people coming onto the streets in jubilation, but also in support of the, the Junta themselves, and also mindful and thankful that it's not been a, a bloody event altogether. Opposition uh, leader Andre Rajolina uh, is expected to lead the transitional government. Now, uh, what do you think would be his most immediate concern? Well, his concerns are going to be in terms of um, uh, reliability and also recognition by the international observers, the international people around the world, especially that of the African Union, who have actually rejected the coup and rejected what it, what it stands for. But he will need a lot of support internally. Um, there are large numbers of the army who are still loyal to the, the, the president, and uh, of course, um, he's got to prevent uh, further anarchy. Uh, but he's got large swathes of the army supporting him. Um, but I think he needs credibility at this juncture, and he'll be expecting a lot of his neighbors and also the international community to support him, but I doubt that very much. The question is, is whether aid would be taken away uh, by the European Union and other countries, um, and whether the level of sanction can be imposed on that country. Um, it, it's a tricky affair at the moment, and uh, over, over the next couple of days, this may become apparent. Experts on African affairs, Ayo Johnson from London. Uh, updating us on the latest uh, situation in Madagascar. Thanks for speaking with us here on Press TV.